I want to say a couple more words about reduced expressions. In particular, I want to show you why the algorithm that I used in the last video to get an expression from a one-line notation gave us a reduced expression. So first of all, we know that the length of a permutation equals the number of inversions. So if we have an expression SI1 through SIL, for W, and that satisfies L equals the number of inversions in W. So L is the number of generators we use here. Then the expression is reduced. Now what did we do in the algorithm? So the strategy was to take the smallest letter and move it to the front, and then the second smallest letter and move it to its place, and then the next smallest letter and move it to its place. Since we're always using the smallest letter, when it passes letters, the letters are certainly going to be greater than it. So 1 passes the 2 and the 5. So that undoes two inversions that were in this original permutation, 5, 2, 1, 4, 3. We're taking out two inversions and using two generators. Then when we move the 2, since the 2 is now smaller than all the, all the other letters that it might pass, we did one move, we used one generator, and we undid one inversion. So basically every time we move a letter, we're moving it past larger letters. The number of places we move it is the number of generators we're using and the number of inversions that we're undoing until finally we end up with the identity permutation that has no inversions. And every single generator that we used to get there undid an inversion that was in the original permutation. So that's why this number of in, this number of generators is equal to the number of inversions in the original permutation, and therefore gives us a reduced expression. Well, when we turn it around, of course, the length of the expression is exactly the same. Now, another fact about reduced expressions that's kind of neat is you can see from a wiring diagram whether an expression is reduced or not. So let me draw a wiring diagram here. This, I believe, is reduced, but if I put some more x's in here, I think I can make it not reduced. Here, one more x. This is not reduced. And the way I can see that this is not reduced is that if there's any two paths that cross more than once, then the expression is not reduced. So this stands for s3, s2, s3, s1. S2, S3, S2. And I can see I found two wires, this one. And the next one, that crosses it once and then crosses it again right here. So if there's a pair of wires that cross each other more than once, then the expression is not reduced. In fact, that's an if and only if statement. An expression is reduced if and only if its wiring diagram contains no two paths that intersect each other more than once.
that cross each other more than once. Then another neat fact about reduced expressions is that you can get from, so they're not unique, and we know that they're not unique because in our, um, in our presentation of the symmetric group, we've got the braid relation that gives us two equal length expressions for the same word. Reduced expressions are not, in general, unique. And we know that SI, SI plus 1, SI equals SI plus 1, SI, SI plus 1. Those are two expressions, two different expressions that have the same number of generators in them. And I guess we also know that SI, SI plus 2 equals SI plus 2, SI. Again, these are two different expressions which are the same length in terms of generators for a single element of the symmetric group. So let's put up the reduced expression we found for for 5, 2, 1, 4, 3. So we said that S2, S1, S2, S4, S3, S4 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 5, 2, 1, 4, 3. It turns out, and this is kind of a difficult theorem to prove, that all of the reduced expressions for this same one line notation can be obtained from this one just by applying elementary moves to these generators, an elementary move being a, a replacement of this type or a replacement of that type. So other reduced expressions are, let me just write this as 2, 1, 2, 4, 3, 4 to, to uh, make the notation easier. So we could swap the 2, 1, 2 with a, a 1, 2, 1, and the 4, 3, 4 with a 3, 4, 3, and then we could do both. If we do both, we get 1, 2, 1, 3, 4, 3, and that is related to this one by a single swap, and that's related to this one by a single swap. And then the 2 and the 4 commute. So this could be replaced with 2, 1, 4, 2, 3, 4. And then the, the 4 and the 1 commute. And that can be replaced with 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. Now if we continue this graph, writing reduced expressions and connecting them, if they're related by this relation or that relation, then it's a theorem of jock tits that we're going to get a connected graph, and therefore we're going to end up with all of the different reduced expressions. The end.